guys. Um, I just finished the uh, gyro ball on my Rostock Max uh, 3D printer. Um, as you can see, it spins freely. Um, this took 11 hours, and it was like 0.3 millimeter layers, and um, I think like two perimeter loops and basic stuff like that. Um, and as you can see, spins fairly freely here. I mean, it's, it's impressive. Um, you know, the first my first time around trying to print this, I had uh, some heat issues as far as my uh, speed and heat uh, extruder setting. So um, made a few changes and uh, came out fairly nice. Just a few little strands here and there. A um, couple webs here, but not, not much at all. It was actually a lot nicer than I thought. I did a 20% infill, and you could see, like, these lines in here. Showed later, but um, 11 hours. And this, I'd say this is about, I think it's 100. I scaled it to about 125 millimeter. Yeah. But you could see it spins... Fairly free movement on here, um, but uh, pretty impressive. I never, I always wanted to do this, and uh, you know, I was just afraid to run so long. This is absolutely the longest I've uh, ran my row stock um, on any print. Um, I basically started at like nine thirty at night, and it ran all the way to like eight thirty or eight o'clock in the morning, just about eight thirty after I was at work. In my my wife was kind enough to uh, take some updated pictures and shut it off. So, but other than that, pretty happy with it. Quality is pretty good. Um, the lines and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I think it's around. I think it's 125 millimeter. I'd have to look at the file again. I'm assuming. But um, but yeah, that's it. My Rostock Max and uh, Gyro Cube. Thanks, guys.